Hello, dear viewers. Today, I want us to learn manual design of beams in Excel. So, this is called RCC equal to one continuous. I think it is more for me uh, to share uh, this video on manual design in Excel. I, I think it is important. So, guys, let's move First of all, you can see the security here, so I will enable content. Okay. So I will check if I can run macros, but I have not designed it, so I'm just checking the right. I have, I have permission. So I want, uh, I want to design this thing. The most critical thing, so I will put this in the model which I have model name. So I will select the select the Then I will just do selected copy. Then I just do it. Then I If I go to the redeem, wait. If I go to the redeem view, I see it's showing me the whole object. Now I should select on my entire here. Go to the redeem. Then you see my beams there. They are uh, for 50 by 200. And now if I check my node to node distance, go to utilities, um, node to node distance, and find node to node distance here, to here, here, to here, and I want to find that distance. So you can see it is 4.1, 4.1, and 5.6. And then my, uh, you can see here, I'm supposed to uh, put my span, my depth of beam, my B1, B, B, B wind, my, my flange height, which is basically my uh, slab depth and the type, whether it is T beam, rectangular or uh, L beam. Alright. So I'm supposed to put my BF. So some things here are automatic. So how many spans do I have? So for this beam, I have two spans, have this and this span, all right? So I have two spans. So this and this. so I will pick 4.1 for the first span. The second span is 1.7, and we'll check the node to node distance. 1.7. 1 1.7. All right, and then for 50, then B is basically the, uh, the the wind of the beam, which is basically 200, then 200, all right, and of course my slab is, and of course this one I will change. So you see, this one is, Red means there's an error, so you need just to confirm this with this. So it just be equal to 200. Then, then this one can make it just around 3 480 because you can see here it's 487 now. 480. All right, now my my story height is. 2.85 and then 
I have columns. My column here. My column here is uh, two fifty by two fifty. So I put fifty by two fifty. And the other is also two fifty. Now the fifty by two fifty. The other one is circular, but it's three hundred. You just put two hundred by two hundred, right? Uh, top and below the same thing. So three fifty, three fifty, two hundred. And this one is two fifty, two fifty. Then now we are done there. Now basically means the height of my column. Of course, this is the first row, so there is a column above and column below. So that's exactly what it will try to request the data of column below and above, right? So, for my UDL, if I click this beam, and maybe even this, maybe let us use this because this beam does not have a wall. Let us use this beam which has a wall. So, I just go select beam cover. So, for this beam, uh, loading, there's a wall 9.6 kilonewtons. So this is 9.6 UDL of 9.6. Then here is zero. There's a plate. There's a plate which is if we check my plate load around. This is uniform. Uh, my plate load is uh, 3.75, which is the basically the unit weight of slab, and then plus one for for finishes, so 4.75, 4.75. So it has my blade one also has an impost load of for the same thing for plate 2 because i can see i have a plate here and a plate here basically is the slab basically you remember you model plate before you load it then it will be slab so of course 4.8 then 4 then go the same thing um span 2 also span 2 now does not have a udl it's zero, zero, but it has a plate on both sides, also with the same UDL and impost load 4.8. 4. Now, you can see my design status is okay. So, you can go to options and see. We can go to spans. You see, our oh, top steel and bottom steel. So bottom steel, we need two by twenty. The left two by twenty. 
right and 2 by 260 the right so we'll pick this one or maybe this one which is critical then on the top still we need 2 t16 so we'll pick 2 t16 so we need 2 t16 and bottom 2 t20 and maybe we change this we cannot change that it is locked So we can come here and maybe check if there's any way we can change because I need consistency, I need to use T16 in all my beams. So maybe to work my way around, I could just try and increase the depth, maybe to 550. Okay. Then check my spawns. Now this I need to be 16. See if it will pass. It passes. Then 16. Then this one 16. 16. So we can see that now. 2 T16 has passed, 2 T16 on top and 2 T16 on bottom. So our size will be, for span 1 will be 550 by 200 and 450 by 200. So that's how we do it manually. So guys, uh, remember what I told you. Don't let artificial intelligence control you. You control artificial intelligence. Thanks. See you in another episode.